hello everyone good day to you all welcome to emma's chef recipes in today's video we are going to make this fluffy sweet cho christmas chocolate cake with only three ingredients so i hope you stay tuned to the end of this video so stay tuned So, in making this Christmas chocolate cake with only three ingredients, all we need is just a bag of chocolate cookies. Yes, and I'm going to be blending it with this blender. If you don't have one, maybe you want to do this. I think if you are doing such thing, you can invest in blenders like this and then for things like this cookies stuff so we are going to blend it after I advise that you don't measure it before blending you measure out your cookies when you are done blending it in that way you will get the actual measurement that you need because that is exactly what I did I measured it after I'm done after I'm done blending it so that is how I got my own measurement I didn't measure it before before blending no I measured after so right now here is our 350 gram of our chocolate cookie cookies and uh, we only need these three ingredients like i said in the beginning we are going to need three ingredients baking powder and this baking powder is just three teaspoon of our baking powder and again we are going to stir it you can see i didn't sieve the baking powder because i just feel like you know because i'm going to give it a rough stir and um, you can see yours is uh, is optional is not a must but uh, it is advisable to feel uh, to sieve it because it will not take your time in stirring it long but because i didn't sieve mine you can see it will take me more time in stirring this so that i can incorporate it very well so that is why it is advisable so right away well, we are going to need also 350 ml of our milk and uh, you can use any milk of your choice depends on you so and uh, here you can see we are going to use our hands our spatula in turning it you know turning the mixture giving it a raw stir and uh, at this point as you are stirring it you can see maybe if you want more chocolate test more chocolate you know look uh, <laughs> you can add extra cocoa powder it is it is not a must it is an optional uh, it is an optional for you so it's not a must for me i added because <laughs> you know i cannot do with this cocoa powder stuff chocolate thing so i added some amount so i will stir it continue stirring until i make sure that everything incorporates very well but you know as i'm doing this if you because i know it will take time for some of us who don't have time sometimes we do things we don't we don't need to delay we don't need to the only thing you can do just when you stir a bit like i did now i just stir the next thing i'll do is just to use my hand mixer because to me it's not like i can bake it like this i can bake it like this and it will come out perfect but because i want to you know i i want to do the waxing i want to use my hand waxer for those who have who hand wix hand waxer you can use yours i used mine to wix it so that i can get the smoother <laughs> smoother um texture and surface so i will not you know feel embarrassed 
in my in my cooking stuff so it is not a must anyway that you mix it with your hand mixer if you have you use if you don't have you keep on stirring until you get the desired uh, texture you want how you want to see how enticing this is this is yummy 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 I, I, in fact I cannot tell you <laughs> how my children love this chocolate immediately they came back from school and everything was finished they didn't they didn't remain any no nothing remained so that is it right away what we need to do next is just to pop it into our greased pan I've already greased this pan with butter and uh, baking pepper as well so you pour it in there level it and let it sit a bit you know bring out the time to just make it to sit a bit before you now bake it in your oven you i baked for 20 to 25 minutes but i didn't bake up to i didn't over bake it anyway so it's time to pop it into the oven and now our cake is ready it's time for me to transfer it into this uh, remove it from the baking pan and then you can see how it is wow i have to remove the baking pepper and uh, here is our cake so what next is that as i've removed the baking pepper I need to you know grease the cake because for me it's greasing <laughs> I need to grease the cake you see how fluffy this cake is man you will love it you will love it just give it a try you will love it see how fluffy how soft it is so the next thing to do is I use this glazed chocolate you know you want to is optional it's not must you can use any kind of chocolate i use glazed one uh, i made a video about it but i've not i'm not yet i've not edited it yet so i poured in the glazed chocolate and uh, on top of the cake you can see as i'm doing it I'm just doing it like this you know taking just my time in doing this and uh, just for the cake to have a good look you know nothing more <laughs> nothing more than that just for the cake to have a good look and that is it we are done glazing pouring our glazed chocolate so right now the next thing i'm going to do here is to bring it out from this and place it on my baking pepper in that way i can trim off rough edges you know the edges that i don't want i can trim it off and then here i'm doing the trimming and removing it so here is our cake our chocolate three ingredient chocolate cake is ready so it's time to you know slice it and uh, bring out our taste i can never finish doing my making my video making my cooking stuff like this my things like this and without testing hey it's not me then <laughs> and here I've, I've sliced out some portion that I'm going to test you can see how this is man you will love this oh my goodness chocolate cake Christmas chocolate cake so now our chocolate cake is ready for me to give it a bite 
I hope you join me in this bite. Ah uh ah. -uh. Ooh, look at. You can see how enticing. In fact, you you will never believe that this is just only three ingredients: chocolate cake without eggs, without butter, without flour. You can imagine. So, thank you guys for joining me in this video in today's video i'm so glad to have you all and as you are celebrating this christmas i wish you good and better things ahead and do have a wonderful day bye